assalamu alaikum today i am doing a video on the knuckle joint i already had done a video on this topic so what is new in this video first in this video you will see knuckle joint in 3d view and i would tell you how and from where the failure starts more i would tell you about the areas in each failure i hope it will make your concepts clear let's start with the parts introduction the red part is known as pin yellow part is known as i and green part is known as fork in the assembly pin tend to hold the i and fork together first we will talk about the failure of end rod the fork and the i have same end rod diodes the end rod will fail in tension as opposite forces are being applied on them area in this failure is simply cross sectional area of the rod forget about the i for a while due to the forces on the fork it is being pulled in this direction but the pin is trying to keep it in its place the fork will exert force on the pin at this point and at this point it may cause a failure of pin for this failure the area is dia of the pin into thickness of the fork now forget about the fork similar to the fork the i would exert a force on the pin as it is being pulled so this part would cause the failure of the pin the area is dia of the pin into thickness of the i's circular part up till now we have discussed the failures of the pin due to i and fork separately now third failure would be due to the combined effect of the i and fork as i and fork are under the force which are opposite the only thing which is hurdle in this way to move in the direction of force is pin so they will try to shear off the pin so the shearing of the pin will happen at this point and at this point for this failure projected area is simply the cross sectional area of the pin slender let me separate the i first as we have discussed the crushing of the pin against i now what would happen if pin tend to cause the failure of the i actually pin is trying to hold the i in the place and i is under the influence of the force in this tug of war the chance of failure of pin and the i are equal so if i fail due to pin the pin will be free by removing the i's material like this and it will break material from this part in this failure area is half of the i's external circle dia into thickness of it you may have a question why half of the dia because the pin will remove material by half of the dia in this failure the i will fail like this the reason behind this is the part which is already has a hole or crack or deficient in material would fail first when stresses are applied on it so the projected area in this case would be the external circle dia excluding holes dia into the thickness of i fork and i have similar failures pin may cause the failure of the fork like in the i because the pull force on the fork the pin will remove the material like this and field area would be the half of the external dia into the thickness of it and multiply it with 2 as both of the leg would be failed
in this failure the circular part of the fork will be broken from this so area would be outside dia excluding small dia into the thickness of the fork i hope you have learned something from this video for more detail you can watch my other video on the knuckle joint link is in the description see you in the next video